Hello everyone, I'm physiotherapist Elif Akıncı. I'm excited to be here again with this platform with you. And today's topic is adolescent idiopathic scoliosis. Adolescent idiopathic scoliosis is an abnormal curvature of spine that appears in late childhood or adolescence. Instead of growing straight, the spine develops a side-to-side -side curvature, usually in an elongated S or C shape. The bones of the spine are also slightly twisted or rotated. Adolescent idiopathic scoliosis appears during the adolescent growth spurt, a time when children are growing rapidly. In many cases, the abnormal spinal curv curvature is stable, although in some children the curve is progressive. For unknown reasons, severe and progressive curves occur more frequently in these girls and boys. However, mild spinal curvature is acutely common in girls and boys. Mild scoliosis generally doesn't cause pain, problems with movement or difficulty breathing. It may only be diagnosed if it's noticed during a regular physical examination or a scoliosis screening at school. The most common signs of the condition include a tilt or asymmetry in the shoulders, hips or waist or having one leg that appears longer than the other. A small percentage of affected children develop more severe, pronounced spinal curvature. Scoliosis can occur as a feature of the other conditions, including a variety of genetic syndromes. However, adolescent idiopathic scoliosis typically occurs by itself, without signs or symptoms affecting other parts of the body. The term idiopathic means that the cause of this condition is unknown. Adolescent idiopathic scoliosis probably results from a combination of genetic and environmental factors. Studies suggested that the abnormal spinal curvature may be related to hormonal problems, abnormal bone or muscle growth, nervous system abnormalities or other factors that have been not identified. Resources, resources subs, uh, suspect that many genes are involved in adolescent scoliosis. Some of these genes likely contribute to causing the disorder, while others play a role in determining the severity of spinal curvature and whether the curve is stable or progressive. Although many genes have been studied, few clear and cons consistent genetic associations with adolescent idiopathic scoliosis have been identified. Adolescent idiopathic scoliosis can be sporopathic, which means it occurs in people without a family history of the condition or it can cluster in families. The inheritance pattern of adolescent idiopathic scoliosis is unclear because many genetic and environmental factors appear to be involved. However, having a close relative, uh, such as a parent or sibling, with adolescent idiopathic scoliosis increases a child's risk of developing the condition. Thank you.